Welcome to another NRL video. I'm Glenn Schwartzberg, and I'll be your host today for I Didn't Know I Could Do That in S-Base Format Strings. In order for us to use format strings, we have to go into the outline and we have to turn on type measures. If you turn on type measures, be aware that you can't turn it back off for the same outline. So if you're going to test this, I suggest that you make a backup copy of your outline before you do. If you don't turn on typed measures, you'll get the message that you see at the bottom when you try to save the outline when you've actually used a format string. So what are format strings? Well, a format string allows you to display text based on a numeric value. It really is an alternative to text lists or smart lists in planning, and it's actually much more powerful. With a text list, there are individual numeric values, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, with a format string, you can actually get ranges of values and do a lot more with them. It is a property of an outline member, and the member can be a stored member or can be a dynamically calculated member, as we'll see in my example in just a minute. So what we do is um, we specify the MD expression that evaluates to a format string, and um, we always do it on the accounts dimension or what we have as our measures. So in my example down here, you can see that what we're doing is we're setting it to negative value, putting the negative sign in it when it returns into Excel if it's an expense item, or we're putting it in brackets. But I've got an even better example for you in just a second. So what I wanted to do is to show you the power of a format string. And this is good for either ASO or BSO cubes. So in Sample Basic, I have a member that's called Variance Percent. And I actually wanted to have that with text values. So I copied that member and created it as Variance Level. And then in the format string, I added this statement, MDX Format, which is a special MDX clause, in case when cell value open paren close paren, and that says whatever value is being evaluated uh, that for that intersection of data. So if it's less than 10, then we're going to display low. If it's less than 20, medium, less than 30, high, otherwise very high. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to save the outline. And once I do my retrieval in Excel, in SmartView, what we see is that I have my variance percents in column D, and then in column E, I have my new variance level that's displaying the value of low, medium, or high. Now, this will work with either SmartView or with financial reports. It does not work with the Excel add-in. So you can see how we could easily extend functionality and make our reports more creative and easier for our end users to use by doing this. And remember, this doesn't have to be on a dynamically calculated member. It could actually be on a stored member that you're loading the data from a source from. So get creative with this. Extend the functionality of your S-Base cubes and enjoy.